Boeing, Boeing 707, going, going, skywardly heaven. The old song by Roger Miller detailed the classic 707 plane, now part of a bygone era. Soon the next iteration, the 747, will also be going to heaven. Kristen Goodwillie helps us say goodbye to a staple in the friendly skies. It's been a wild ride. Silence as employees line the sidewalk to watch the 747 freighter roll out of the Everett production factory. To see it roll out for the last time, it is kind of a surreal. It's just that, that bittersweet, it's hard to fathom that it's the last time. Standing in front of us, it can hold 490 passengers, fly the length of a marathon in two and a half minutes, and its tail is as tall as a six-story building. There's a reason they call it the queen of the sky. It's the end of the queen of the skies, you know. It's pretty interesting to be a part of all this, you know, it's, it's an emotional time. David Bruton is an assembler, installer, and mechanic at Boeing. He was down in Mukilteo to watch the first 747 flight as a kid and even toured the plane. It was pretty interesting for me then and I kind of had an interest in planes from that. Bruton has now worked at Boeing for almost 34 years, following in his grandfather and mom and dad's footsteps. I feel like it's a legacy, you know, uh, to work on this plane for me, but it's been sad to see the last one roll out. The impact of the world's first jumbo jet on aviation and consumer flying being felt by all all who witnessed the end of an era. I think it's just, you know, 747 changed aviation. It changed the way with the world connected. The last of its kind ever to be produced. They're sending the queen out very fittingly. As Boeing looks towards the future, many like Bruton reflected on how the 747 shaped not only his life, but those around the world. There's a part of us rolling out with this thing, you know.